So welcome back everyone. Uh, so in the previous video, yeah, we saw how to read the data from the temperature controller into the PLC. So in this video, we are going to see the next step that is we are going to read and write the data at the same time. Read and write the data at the same time. So if you are just reading the data or just writing the data, it's easy. You just need to put just this block and you will be able to directly read and write the data. But whenever you try to do both together, you have to make some additional steps into the program. Okay, additional steps into the program. So the first thing is, let me show you. So you can see here, we have a mbcom load block, for example. Okay, so this function code is for reading only and we cannot write into it. So how do I create another function code? So I have to create another mb master into the system. So let's go to instructions and let's go to mb master. So I put an mb master here, for example. Now I have a mb master db1. So where will I give this id? So here there is only option for one. So can I create another mb com load? No. We should not do like that. What we have to do is the mb master db should be common. The mb master db should be common. So meaning that so there is no address here. So the same address of the first MB master, the same DB of the first MB master has to be given here. Secondly, at one time, only one MB master have to be active. Okay, so the request has to be sent from only one MB master at a time. So here you have an N of the clock hertz. So here what I'm going to do, I'm give the NC of the clock hertz. So let's see whether this is all working good okay then we will see about uh, any errors that is happening on the program now the mb address again we are going to read from the right to the same device so let's say three so here the mode is changed so we are going to write a value so writing to a holding register is one or multiple re uh, registers are all also one so we have to change the mode to one so the function code with mode one so we need to know now where to write the data. So let's find the location where to write the data. So let's find in the manual. So because as I said, the three registers are all only input registers. We cannot write to it. So obviously the data to write into the system will be in the four register. So here you can see the set value. Here you can see the set value. You can see here 400001. Okay, so this is a six digit address. So again, Siemens will support the six digit address or since the second digit from the left is zero, you can cancel one of the digits. So you can just cancel the first zero, sorry, the, the zero that is in the second digit from the left. So what I can give, I can just give four triple zero one. So that will be my set value. That will be my set value. So let's go to TA portal. Say data address as, um, let's say, four triple zero one okay so the data length i'm just going to write one length because this is also an integer data you can see it's it's an integer you can see the next address is not it's it's available okay then you need to give the data pointer similarly from where we have to write it so let's go to our plc tag and create a set point create a set point which is also going to be an integer it's main block so let's say set point. Okay, now let's try to write it. Compile it. Let's download it. Okay. okay it's loading. Load. So what we can we have to do is like since the com load is already executed and the PLC is now not stopping during the download, it's always better to stop and start the PLC once or power off and power on the PLC ones, which will uh, reinitialize everything, which will reinitialize everything, which will reinitialize everything to stop and run again. So now you can see here, the data is getting read. So for example, let me show you the screen here. So we have the temperature coming in at 24 degrees, okay. And the set point is set as zero because this value got written there. So let, let me change it as 25 here. 25, enter. You can see immediately the set point changed to 25. So similarly, if I change 30 here, so immediately the set point changed to 30. So let's say I want 50 here. Okay, the value is set as 
50 so it is immediate similarly if i hold the temperature sensor which is connected here so it's 24 now so we need to hold it for a few seconds it's 25 now 26 now you can see 27 happening here 27 happening here so similarly i can also reduce the set point let's say i want 20 degrees so both happens simultaneously both happens simultaneously okay so this is how we read the data read the data from the plc so there is one more caveat here okay there is one more caveat here sometimes this will also give you some error sometimes doing this might give you an 8189 error or uh, sorry an 8200 error so which means you are trying to send and receive request at the same time send and receive request at the same time so how to avoid this it's an easy way so instead of directly giving a bit like this it's better to give a positive trigger here it's better to give a positive trigger here instead of a complete half a second pulse because the request has to be just an uh, it's like an instantaneous thing so it's always better to replace this with a positive trigger and just give one dummy memory okay m20.0 something like that and here let's give a negative trigger so that's positive trigger here it is negative trigger so m20.1 so that means this will execute when it is on and this will execute when it is off so this will be a bit more stable communication even if there is some uh, interconnection happening between these two blocks it will not affect the program because the the request is only given in an instant okay because it is just a pulse based instant so let's download this again so this will be a better option so this will be a mandatory thing uh, when we are doing multiple uh, modbus uh, master blocks so here we are having only one modbus master block so it's not a problem so two modbus master blocks so it's easy when you are doing okay i want to read multiple devices read and write multiple devices then the master block configuration will be different okay so let's check whether it is working till now yeah it's working um so i can see it's 20 here so let's say so i want 45 yes it's 45 let's hold the temperature sensor so let's say whether i can make it go to 28 yeah it's 28 i'm holding the temperature sensor in hand 28 29 um, so 30 yes so now we are able to successfully read and write to a modbus device so read and write to a modbus device but here one more thing we have to remember is we are only reading and writing to a single register we are just reading and writing to a single register if you want to read and write to multiple registers we need to use an array here which we'll see in the next video we'll see it in the next video right thank you so much